everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm here sharing with you some encouragement cards for kids. I'm going to be using these new stamp sets from Neat and Tangle. These are the Better Together stamp set and also the Scandinavian prints. I'm going to be using the Scandinavian prints for the sentiments because I love the encouragement theme of those sentiments. To get started, I'm going to be doing a bunch of Copic coloring. So I'm going to be using my Misty stamping tool and my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Dye ink to go ahead and stamp these little cuties onto some white cardstock. I just love the, these fun little kids from this stamp set. These are so adorable. You can see I stamped that little bear. I didn't end up using him, but you'll see I ended up coloring him because I wasn't sure if I was going to end up including him in my card design. I ended up creating a total of three of these cards. I'm going to be walking you through the coloring that I've done for these little kids. For the girl, I'm coloring in her dress with Y00, Y11, and Y06. Next, I'm going to move on to adding some pink details using RV00 and RV52. These images have some small portions, so I did only end up using a couple colors in spots because the areas were so tiny. But I did end up adding shading to pretty much everything on each of these little kids. For the skin, those can be sometimes difficult. I've used E000, quadruple zero, E00, and E21 for this little girl, and I'm going to be coloring the skin on each kid slightly different because, of course, everybody has sk different skin tone colors. And this is a really fun way to be able to practice skin coloring using these little kids. For the little owl, he is so cute. I am using E37 and E47 to add some shading to him. I'm using simple coloring here on all of these kids, and I'm also using similar colors on each one. I'm going to make a total of three cards, like I said, and I want them to coordinate a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that I use similar colors on each image. For her hair, I'm using E23, E17, and E18 because I wanted to give her a slightly reddish brunette tint. They really go nicely together, and I love how they ended up working out for a reddish colored hair. So I'll just add in a little bit of shading there. I'm not going too detailed with the hair because these kids are pretty simple. For the little boy, I'm using E00 and E21 for his skin and also the little lighter details on his little fox critter. For his hair, I'm using E57, E47, and E49. This creates a very dark brown color. I'm just adding in some shading along the darkest areas. Then I'm going to move on to his shirt. I wanted to create a slightly orange shirt and you'll see I ended up changing my mind a little bit as I went along. I was, went to thinking as I was coloring this that, oh my goodness, the orange of the shirt is going to blend in a lot with orange on the fox. So to remedy that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some stripes to this little boy, and I'm going to color the fox with a slightly lighter orange tint. So here I'm taking a Copic Multiliner, and I'm adding some stripes along this little guy's shirt. I'm not making them super straight because he, these are whimsical images and I wanted to make sure I maintained that same feel with his stripes. So I made sure that they didn't have straight lines and I'm now going to color those in using some red markers. This is going to give my shirt some detail and texture and also a variation in color and it's not going to blend into the color of the fox as easily. I'll color in his shoes just using some C5 and C7 and then I'll move on to the fox. I'm coloring him in with some YR20, YR82, and YR12. I also end up adding a little bit of R15 towards the end for a little bit darker shading. I felt it wasn't quite dark enough. So here I'll just add that in and I'll blend that out with my lighter colors. All right, now I need some little blush. I'm using RV00 and R20 just to give them a little bit of a pink cheeks. All right, and then moving on to the last little girl, I'm going to color her skin in a darker color tone. So here I'm using E33, E37, and E47, and I'm just going to go ahead and shade her in, and then I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in her dress. Now, as you can see, I jumped around as I was coloring her dress because I'm using pinks and reds. These are colors that bleed very easily together, so I wanted to make sure that I gave them each a little bit of time to dry in between laying down the color. So here I'm now jumping over at R46 and R89 for the darkest portions of her dress. And then I'll go ahead and blend that out with R46 and R27 once again, which were the lighter colors. I'm going to color in her hair now. I want to do black hair for her. So I'm going to go ahead and use C3 for my lightest color. I'm going to put just a base coat down of that. Then I'm going to add some C5 and I'm also coloring in her shoes at the same time. I'll add an even darker color with some C7. And then for my very darkest color, I'm using just a little bit of the 100 marker. And that's just going to give it a very dark color tone and help her have that really nice, intense black, dark hair. 
Finally, I'm gonna color in her little puppy and I'm just using some light E colors and then I'm gonna add a couple of spots using some E33, E37, and E47. All right, so now that I've got all my coloring done, now it's time to move on to creating some backgrounds for these cards. I'm using a stencil here from Penny Black. This is the Dotlet stencil. I just love the fun random dots on this, on this stencil. And I'm using some Prima Watercolor Confections watercolors and adding in some coloring inside these little dots. I'm using very little water here because I wanna make sure that I don't bleed in through underneath the stencil too much but I'm just adding in enough water to give it that watercolor appearance and it will bleed a little bit, but I like the fun, uneven texture of it. It really adds a nice, fun and whimsical look to this background. I'm gonna create three of the same ones and I'm making sure that the colors all coordinate with the kids that these are going to be matching up with. And here you can see we've got all of our backgrounds done. These were really, really fun to create. I had a lot of fun doing this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and die cut these using the Simon Says Stamp Stitched Rectangle dies. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and start stamping out my sentiments. Again, I'm using the Scandinavian Prince stamp set from Neat and Tangled. This was another new one from their uh, March release. And now I'm going to go ahead and prep my surface of my cardstock. These are just some quarter inch pieces of cardstock that I've cut down using my paper trimmer. Sorry about my head, I was lining this up. I'll go ahead and stamp that down with Versamark ink and then cover this with white embossing powder from Ranger. And now I'm going to go ahead and heat set this. I've attached that down onto my card using some foam tape and I've matted a piece of cardstock, this is red cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, onto the back side of my panel and attach this onto my card base. And to finish everything off, I'm going to go ahead and add some shading to ground my images to my card using my dark gray Copic markers. I'll also add some hearts to these cards using the coordinating dies, which is what I also use to cut out these kids. I'll go ahead and attach those down then off camera. And that's going to finish up my cards. So I hope you've enjoyed and got some inspiration on creating some encouragement cards for kids using the Better Together and Scandinavian Prints stamp sets from Neat and Tangled. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and connect with us on social media. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.